If you're the chosen one, you'll get everything I'm about to say. It'll click with you. But if you're not, you might just tune out, and that's okay. You know, it's all good. I'm just keeping it real with you. Listen up, chosen one. If what I'm saying hasn't happened to you yet, just be ready because it's coming. I'm not telling you anything new. This is stuff you already sense. When you're the chosen one, you know you matter. You're someone special, right? Drop a comment if you've been feeling that weight, like when you walk into a room and you just know you've got that presence. If that's you, say, I am it. Not everyone has that spark. You can spot it, right? Like when you see someone who's naturally beautiful or someone who stands out without even trying. It's like you see it, you know? You ever get that vibe about someone and you can't quite put your finger on it? It's just there. Your friend might ask, what makes her so special? And you just know it's not about looks or style, it's something deeper, like kindness, or just a sweet vibe that draws you in. Sometimes you might even hype it up with your friends, saying she's worth more than treasure. But for real, chosen ones, people will sometimes gang up against you. They do it because they feel like they have no other choice. You might have already felt this, like people acting strange or all on the same page against you. It's funny how that works. They can team up all they want, but it won't change who you are. Remember, you can see through it all. You know when something's off, even when others don't. Just keep being you, because no one can take that away. You know how it goes. People will talk to you all friendly, saying, yeah, man, we're going to make big moves together. We'll change things up, make a difference. They hype you up, saying, no one can stop us. We've got this. But then, when you're alone, you start to wonder if things are really what they seem. You start noticing some people teaming up against you. Listen, chosen one, drop a comment and say, I'm the chosen one. It's true, sometimes people you once knew, maybe even your own family, might turn against you. It could be your siblings, your close friends, or even someone you never expected, like your mom or your cousin. They might start telling others, don't talk to her, look what she did. They might even share old texts or conversations to make you look bad. We all have those moments when we're not at our best, when we act out of frustration or anger. It doesn't mean we're bad people. As chosen ones, we try to stay positive, but nobody's perfect. We all have a dark side that shows up from time to time, but that doesn't define us. But these people, they'll dig up every negative thing about you. They'll focus on your mistakes, your flaws, and show it to others, saying, see what they did to me. And then, some of your old friends or family might go, really? I didn't know that. And just like that, they start to hate too. Misery loves company, and they're happy to find someone else who shares their negative feelings. They love it when someone else joins in on their bad-mouthing. It's like a celebration to them when they're not alone in their dislike. But don't let it get to you, just keep being yourself. And remember, you're still the chosen one. Let me tell you, chosen one, sometimes people who don't have good intentions will come together against you. They might act like they're strong and united, but the truth is, they're just desperate. When they can't win by being themselves, they'll try everything to bring you down, discredit you, or make you look bad in front of others. But here's the thing, when you have the spirit of something greater inside you, nothing they do can touch you. They can glare, they can gossip, and they can plot all they want, but it won't change a thing. They wanted you to fail last year, and yet here you are, still pushing forward, still making it. Drop a comment and say, I'm still standing by grace. If you ever wonder where someone stands, just ask them if they believe. If they get defensive or try to start a fight, it's clear where they're at. They aren't on the same path. Chosen one, there will be times when a few people, maybe three or four, will team up against you. And what's wild is, you won't even know it at first, They'll do things behind your back, thinking they're slick. But eventually, it all comes to light and you realize, oh, they were never really for me. Suddenly, you see it. They're like a team of haters, just trying to bring you down. But the good news, they can't stop your blessings. No matter what they try, you'll keep shining. They'll keep watching, and all they can do is hate from the sidelines. And instead of facing you directly, being real and honest, They'll hide behind fake smiles and empty words. They don't have the courage to be upfront. So chosen one, stay true to who you are and let them play their games. You're on a different level and nothing they do can change that. They can't even come to you directly and say, 
Hey, we have a disagreement. Can we talk it out and find a compromise? Maybe it's as simple as not liking the color you chose for a room. You could just say, I prefer this shade and work it out together. It's that easy. You bring your ideas and we'll find a way to blend them. No big deal, right? But nah, these folks won't do that. Instead, they'll go find others who share their complaints and start forming little groups against you. They'd rather sit around and gossip than be upfront. And when they see you, they'll act all friendly, like nothing's wrong. But you can sense it, right? That fake smile, it's obvious from a mile away. It's like smelling bad fish. You know it's off even from a distance. Chosen ones, we have this instinct, this sense of knowing. It's like we're given this insight to see through the nonsense. It's not magic, it's just being in tune with what's real. And these people, they think they're slick, but they don't realize they're just exposing themselves. It's like an alarm going off or a light turning on when someone steps in where they shouldn't be. We see you and it's clear as day. They're standing there, caught off guard, thinking they were hidden. But their actions are like flashing lights, impossible to miss. And often, it's not even about you, it's about their own issues. They might need a reminder to check themselves, like those old TV ads for learning programs. Maybe they need something like that because they're missing the point entirely. And then they sit back, wondering why they're not blessed, why things aren't going their way. They hate on you for being the chosen one, for having good things come your way, without realizing that maybe they should focus on their own path instead of tearing down yours. Why do you get to go to all these places I've never seen? Why does everything always seem to go your way, like winning the lottery? Why do you always smell good, and why does everyone seem to like you? It's because you're not out here trying to bring people down or teaming up against anyone. You already know who you are, but they're plotting against you. These people, they'll go on social media, find others who don't like you, and join forces. They're so obsessed with you that they spend their time studying and talking about you. It's like, oh, you don't like them either. Cool, let's hang out and complain. But really, they've got nothing going on for themselves. Your life is their entertainment because they have nothing else. Chosen one, remember this. They'll gang up against you because they have no other options. But let me tell you, it's not going to work. In fact, it'll only make you shine brighter, make you even more popular and successful in the eyes of those who matter. God sees everything and he knows who's against you. Because you're chosen, he's going to turn those enemies into stepping stones. They'll be forced to watch as you keep rising, keep shining. So go ahead, drop a comment and say, I'm shining today, I'm the chosen one. If you're feeling it, let's hear it.